Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to talk about question banks in Storyline 360 and this works much the same way in Storylines 1 and 2. So I've got a little dummy uh, quiz set up here where I've just got a, an introduction on a regular slide and then I've got five quiz questions. And the way it's set up the, at the moment is that if users were to take this quiz everybody would do the questions in the same order. I have got the shuffle turned on on the individual questions so that the answers would be mixed but the questions would be presented in exactly the same order for everyone. But if I wanted to randomize the order that people are presented questions, I need to use a question bank for that. And a question bank is a bit like a bucket. And we're going to put all of our questions into the bucket and then Storyline will draw them out in a random manner for people to use. So there's a couple of ways of getting to um, the, the question banks. In Storyline 360 we've got the option here in Story View or in the Slides tab we also have the question bank option. So I'm going to click on question banks and what I need to do firstly is create the question bank or create the bucket. And I'm going to give it a name, so I'll call it the tutorial question bank. And then I have the option of, now I've already created my questions and I've then after that I've created the bucket. You can create the question bank first and then start adding your graded or survey questions to it. Um, but because I've already got mine, I'm actually going to import questions already in the project into my bucket, into my question bank. And the first option I have is to, do I want to copy the questions or move them? Now if I copy, they will still exist in the project and in the bucket as well. So the questions will be in really in two places. But I'm going to choose move because it's going to move them out of my project and they'll only exist in the question bank. Then I need to tell Storyline, well, out of all the slides in my project, which ones do I want to put into the question bank? Now you can actually put any kind of a slide into a question bank. So if you wanted to create some kind of randomization, you could use a question bank for that. But in my case, I'm just going to include, by ticking in these checkboxes, just my quiz questions. I want the introduction out of the bank. I want it left out. And then I'm going to say OK. Now here I've got like a summary of all the questions that are in the question bank uh, showing me how many attempts and points. I could change those, click here and change the number. If I double click on the slide I can drill back into the questions and make any adjustments and things like that. But I'm happy with that so I'm going to close the tab down and when I go back to story view it looks like my questions have gone. They've been taken out of the question and that's because I moved them into the bank. Now what I need to do is I need to insert my question bank, my bucket, into my project. So I'm just going to do a quick save. Now in Storylines 1 and 2 you'll need to go to the new slide tab and then the quizzing tab within there and then look for draw from bank. And that's how you'll insert your quiz questions. In Storyline 360 we're going to go to slides and I'll go question banks and draw from new draw from question bank. Then I'll tell Storyline which question bank do I want to insert into my project? Because you can have multiple question banks in your project. So I want to insert this tutorial question bank. Now it's going to insert the questions randomly, that's why I'm using it. And then I can say, well, do I want to include all of the questions or a lower amount? So you can create larger pools of questions and then the users may do less than that. So you may create 15 questions, but people only do 10 or 12. Um, it, you just need to factor in that some people won't do some questions. So what I'm going to do for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm just going to pick four. And the other option is, well, um, at the moment, so the way mine is now, I've got five questions, people will only do four of them. Um, if there was a particular question or questions that you wanted people to, to do, uh, you can over in the right here in this include in shuffle column, I can say don't have this question at all, but I'm going to say always for the first one. So what that means is there's only four of the five questions in my bank, but everybody will do this question. It'll still come out in a random way, but it's always going to have that particular question. Then once I have that uh, set up and you, you make your changes here, then you insert. 
and that's going to insert our question bank and this is what it looks like in in storyline in any of the versions it is a, a blue looking slide with the with the question mark on it so it this slide actually contains all of the questions that's what that's the bucket and but they just will be presented to users in a random way now you've got the option here in slide view to view the slide draw which again is where I can change how many questions or if it's always or randomly um, those kinds of options I can view the question bank get back and, and, and change my uh, temps and points and double click to, to drill down and make any changes to the actual questions in the bank themselves so you can still get to your questions that are in question banks and make changes it's just a little bit more drilling uh, to get to them but essentially that's it, that's inserting a, a question bank into a storyline project. Uh, we're really inserting the container that's going to have the questions, but really great for randomizing the order of, of quiz questions so that people will be presented them in, in a different order and gives you the option of creating larger pools of questions where users do uh, a lower amount. So that's it for this tutorial, I'll see you next time.